Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel with Love Savannah. I'm Savannah and today we have an organizational video that is quite the undertaking, much, much needed. We are tackling today the under the cabinet sink, the under the sink cabinet in my bathroom. And I just don't have enough space in my bathroom. So basically this is what I'm working with. These don't open. So those two above don't open, it's just like the cabinet. So in these middle ones, Brandon and I have like, this is like what I use on the daily, what Brandon uses on the daily. And then this one is like a medicine kind of cabinet. And then this one is for towels. So this is really the only one that I have to put anything in. Like my makeup, my extra body care products, anything, really anything. It's like the only space that I have. So it's a little wild in there. There's no organization. And basically what's happened is lately it's just turned into a complete disaster. Like I've just been throwing stuff cause I've been busy like having other priorities and things. So this is, this is what my bathroom looks like. Like I'm just gonna show you. So in the cabinet, it's just like literally stuff is just thrown in here. There's, I wanna say there's a lot of underutilized space up here, but really, I mean, it's stacked up that high just because it's a disaster. So with this looking like this, I've also just been throwing all of my new stuff behind me onto my tub. So first things first, this is our sink. So we have the two sinks, which I really like. And I know this is kind of gross, but I clean everything today. So everything's nice and sparkly. So I went to Starbucks because this is quite the undertaking. I got a pink drink and then the cheese and fruit bowl. I really haven't eaten much at all today. So this is kind of what I'm eating. So yesterday I went to the container store and I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but I just finally was like, all right, this is it, I'm doing it. I ended up going to like the home edit section and there was a lot of those clear containers. I spent way more than I anticipated. And I really hope that I don't need everything that I bought because I spent $250 and I'm like, I am not spending $250 on one cabinet. I hope I got way too much. I was also thinking of the kitchen, like under the sink in the kitchen in mind. So whatever I've left over, I may use there. Let's show you, we'll unpack everything I got. I'm gonna lay out a towel just for me to sit on and for me to sit everything on because I washed our rugs today. So I haven't laid them back out yet. All right, I love it. So we're just gonna pretend that we're on the beach and that it is not winter. The good thing about all of this nonsense is that I have plenty of places to prop my camera. So first, again, everything is from the container store, the home edit brand. So I got these divided turntables. So I got two turntables and they have four different sections and they're nice and big. And it looks like it's like taped in there or something, but this little piece comes out too. So it's just like extra storage. And then I believe I got three of these. It's the all purpose stackable divided drawer. What I really like is that these stack on top of each other. They open like this. So they just like slide in and out really nice. And then there's two compartments in here. Like there's a little separation thing. So two places for that. So these are really nice to really make sure you get all that vertical space. And then I got this all purpose divided bin. And the reason I got this instead of the stackable in this case is because the stackable ones are really nice, but there are products that I know won't fit in those stackable ones, like hairspray, for example, that's really tall. So I figured I would get these. I can put this on top of one of the stackables and then it'll have all of the room for those really, really tall products. This one also has that divider in the middle. So for in this one, I got a couple of containers. I got two of these tall organizers. So these just fit perfectly right in there. And then I got a medium organizer to go beside it. So that'll give me some compartments for like makeup or whatever categories I have. So I got three of the stackable drawers, two turntables, and then the all purpose divided bin with these three little containers inside. And when I say this stuff is pricey, I'm not kidding. I spent $249.67. That was with a 15% off coupon that I had for signing up for emails. So literally before that, I think my bill was like 310 before I added that coupon. And the only thing that I bought other than the containers that I just showed you are these water block gloves, size small for doing dishes. So I don't like mess up my nails as much as I do. That's literally it. So I figured the best way to get started is to just go through everything, throw away what I can. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of throw away, but we'll see. And then just kind of start 
putting things into categories. Well, I figure it makes the most sense to start with everything that's already out. So everything that's on the tub, I will start putting into categories on this towel and then we'll pull everything out of the cabinet from there and just add to the categories. So starting out, I have everything over here kind of in categories already. This is bath stuff that I either haven't used yet at all or I've used some of it and just like have too much in the shower so I took it out. But there's one thing that doesn't belong here. I just bought Warby Parker glasses and they were messed up so they have to fix them. So you know what, this box I do not need, straight into the garbage. And then the receipt that goes with it, I don't need that either, I have it electronically. So let's rip that up. So this is a perfect example of what I was saying about why I needed this container, not just the stackables. I actually think I'm gonna take these out and put them in the stackable drawers because this is all short stuff. Whereas I'm really gonna need all of the space here. So I actually might start putting stuff into these first and then I'll move stuff around if I need to. This is what we have over here. I just bought this for Brandon yesterday because he's out of shampoo and conditioner. I bought him this Harry's two in one. It smells really nice. It's like the like tea tree menthol. I bet this is gonna feel amazing. This he's out of, so I'm just gonna put this directly into the shower and not even worry about putting it away. And then what I did is I brought little Clorox wipes and I'm just gonna give anything that needs like a little wipe off. I'm just gonna wipe it off real quick. So this is Design Line Weightless Conditioner. I used up all the shampoo like a long time ago and conditioner just lasts me a ton longer because I don't use as much of it. So I'm going to wipe this off and stick it in here into that big open container. This is something I got Brandon for Christmas. I got him cologne from Bath & Body Works. I smelled a million and one colognes and like they really weren't good, but I actually like the Bath & Body Works one. So this is the matching like body wash. Of course, men's, it's three in one, hair, face, and body wash. Women, can you imagine? Like, no. So I'm gonna stick this into here as well because he's not using it right now. He has some others he's finishing up. Then I have my Olaplex conditioner. Again, use the shampoo, still have the conditioner left. We have the good old swimmer shampoo, which I don't need right now since it's February. Tea tree scrub that my brother got me for Christmas, coconut lime, love this stuff. And then last but not least is just some soap from my sister-in-law's baby shower that I'm gonna throw in there. This container has this stuff in it and I don't know if I'll keep it, but that's how it is for now. I recently bought skincare from Esme Skin Minerals. This is my favorite face up ever. It's what I use every single day and has really, really helped to dramatically change my skin. So I keep saving the boxes for these because I keep thinking that like maybe someday I'll do sort of like an unboxing and just like show you everything that I have and like how I do my routine and like what I do. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below if I should film that or not. But that's why I keep keeping this box, but it's just taking up space right now. Like I have like all of the boxes in here. So I don't know. The retinol I haven't started yet because my face is really dry. So I'll leave that out. And then this is an extra cleanser. So I'm gonna leave this one out too. But the rest are just boxes for right now. So I'm just going to put that in my office. Next is the stuff that I absolutely love. And I won't show you everything in this much detail, but this is the stuff I talk about all the time. And I just want to make this note just because I realized this after I opened it that I've been sounding like a loser because I've been calling it the bum bum cream because it's spelled bum bum, but it says pronounced boom boom. This will make your heart go boom boom. So not bum bum. Sorry to the company, but again, this is really, really good stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the front of where I just put the soaps just because it's like the body care section. I feel like it'll work well for now at least. And this, garbage. Mostly the rest of what's up here is makeup. So I think I'm just gonna take one of these stackable drawers out and kind of just put everything in here and deal with makeup later because there's going to be the most of that I think. This is like my daily makeup. I'm gonna stick this up on the counter. And then I have an eyeshadow palette and a glow kit. I'm gonna stick those just right in here. So this is what we got so far. And then this is a setting spray, but again, I use that more daily too. So I'm gonna stick that up there as well. This beautiful little bag you'll see in an upcoming video. This is my Merit makeup. So this I'm using daily as well too. So I'm just gonna throw that up there for now. Now to tackle the big boy. <coughs> Empty box need. I don't know why I think that I need to like keep all this stuff. This is like, I guess the perfectionist in me, but look what it's caused me. It's just a mess, you know? So I need to order new contacts. So I'm going to save this 
Then these are the only contacts that I have left. So I'm gonna keep those out for now. This is the boxes that I like, need to buy. My trials, I have two right and two left because my prescription's different, but I only need one of each. That's where my contacts, so I'll throw that away and stick these up here. I love these for applying my makeup. Stick those in the makeup container. And this is my heatless pearl system. I don't have a hair section yet, so I think I'll just put that in a separate bin. So I put it right here for now. So this, just so you see, like this is what we have going on. And then this is the box that I'm working through. Getting back to it, I have this from Ariana Grande. This had all of her little mini perfumes in it, so it's just a container. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I do like it. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. Maybe I can organize something in there to stick that in one of these containers. I think that would be good. All right, so hair. I feel like hair products will be good in one of the spinnies. So we're gonna do that for now. This is my thermal protection mist. Throw that in there. Uh, daily brush cleaner will go with the makeup. Olaplex hair perfecter. This is a mask. So I'm gonna put this in with the bath stuff. Buns of Glowery, I haven't used this yet. This goes with the bath stuff. Brow pencil I'm not currently using. Lip gloss I haven't used yet. And then this little Oops, thing that I'm not using yet. I could put in the makeup section. My Warby Parker box, I don't really know what to do with this at the moment, so that's gonna go up there. Laneige lip sleeping mask. I don't need the box. I've been putting it back and forth in the box every day, but this does have this little applicator I need to pull out. I think I need to clean this, so I'm gonna stick it up there. But I actually, I do use this pretty often, so I'm gonna leave this out with the makeup on the countertop. Put this puppy down. Hair eyeshadow palette, hair accessory. So I'm gonna stick this with the heatless curl thing for now. More setting spray, but I'm not using this one right now, so I'll throw this in with my makeup. Makeup eraser cloths, these are new ones. I'm just gonna pull them out, throw the box away, and then put these in with my other ones. Some hand creams, I'll stick with the other one. Skincare, I'm going to put in front of the makeup for now, I'll probably move that. Right now, remember, we're just categorizing. So I'm also gonna throw the retinol and the other uh, face cleanser in there. Little jewelry bag, I don't need to throw this away. Chapstick, goes in the makeup. This is my CC cream box, I don't need this. So I'm gonna throw this away. It's actually good, I was able to throw away more than I thought already, and this is already looking so much more organized. All of this is like skincare face masks. So I'm gonna put this with the skincare section. Some little skincare minis, I'll put the same with that section. And then this is all lip stuff I'll put with the makeup. Just a box. But I've been using a lot of stuff from this Tree to Tub brand. And it's really nice because it's all very natural. It's from Taiwan. I've been there. I really love Taiwan. And it's really cool because with each like body care thing you buy, they send these little soap berries and you're supposed to be able to boil them down and like make soap. I'm really excited to do that. So I'm keeping these for the box and throw away. I'm trying in general to just use more products that are natural, like where I can. So this is a really good one for that. Tinkle razors I'm gonna put with the makeup. Makeup mirror I'll put with the makeup for now. This is a little Dolce Gabbana light blue perfume. And I kept this because I really like the velvet on it. I think it's really cool. But I think I'm just gonna throw it out and just keep this little bottle because, I don't know, I just, in order to be organized and neat like I wanna be, I'm gonna have to part with things. So this goes in my closet. I have all my perfumes in there, so I'll just stick it in there. Let me show you how it's going. So it's a lot better. I have things into their categories. Bath, lotion, hair, hair accessories, makeup, and skincare. And then I just have like some random little stuff that I'm just not worrying about yet. Now for the big boy. <laughs> so I think the best way to tackle this is to just pull everything out just like I just did and put it in the containers like into sections, and like categories. And then I can put the containers in there, see what order I want them, and then really start arranging things appropriately. Alrighty, lotions, check. Hand sanitizer, gonna go with the lotions. Now I'll pull out the hair care. Hairspray, Olaplex, mousse, more hair care. So I'm gonna throw all this over there. And then all my dust soap. So I could take them out of this bag and put these in with the bath section. The dime with whipped exfoliating mask. 
I've been keeping my masks in the box, but I'm not. I'm getting rid of it, guys. More spray bottle perfumes. A lint roller. My Ritual Vitamins. These are ones that I haven't opened this bottle yet, but I've been using these for like at least three years. Definitely since 2019. I really like these. But I have them sent a little bit early, so not using this one yet. So I'm just going to stick this down for now. These are all like hair ties. This is an old perfume container. Hair ties in here, so I'm going to stick this with the hair section. More face masks. Literally, like, why did I keep this? This is just like a bag. I think it's from when I got my ear pierced. My garbage can's already full. I'm gonna dump that out in one of the big, like, container store bags. Skincare. These are face masks I got in Japan. I really like these. Hair accessories. Gloss picks. Oh my gosh. Hair stuff. This apparently was me trying to be organized before, and at one point it was. Honestly, at this point, I'm just getting a little bit impatient, and this is all that's left. So some random like mouthwash. This whole thing is makeup. This is a makeup container I bought. And this is a bunch of hair stuff. So I'm getting also kind of crowded in here. So I'm just going to take this out and then try to put the containers in and we'll see what we can do. Look, oh, my face brushes that I don't use, whoops. There's two here. I move this up more so then this works. This will spin. This though, this other stackable is too big to go into the pipe. So that won't work. Just the all-purpose divided bin does though as long as you put the tall stuff on this side. So I just switched this stuff over and it slides back in very nice. And then I have this room up front. Makeup and skincare are the one thing that's taking up the most space right now. And really I'm trying to get this cleaned up so I'm not so cramped. This is the thing that we had the makeup in. So the makeup we had in the back, the skincare in the front. All right, everything temporarily fit except these products. So I'm just gonna stick them in front for now. That way again, I'm keeping it categorized. And then I took out this, but I use this often. Like I, I don't really want this put away. So I'm gonna stick this up with this makeup. This is what I need to go through. This container, I, you know, I used to think it was cute, but I don't know, it's annoying because in order for it to go in there, it kind of has to go in sideways and then you can't really get into them. So it would have to be like positioned in the front. And I feel like it just takes up more room than anything. It doesn't fit right there. So I think I'm just gonna end up getting rid of this. We have a mess. We are in that things are worse before they get better stage for sure. So in here is looking pretty good. I put my body care in the back the lotions and like hand sanitizers are on this side. And then I put all my Dove soaps here. And I like that because these are easy access. So that's good. And then here, this is in process. So up here, I put all of my hair care. So we have Olaplex here, like dry shampoos and like, you know, little hair oils and things. And then right here is a hairspray. So that's good. This doesn't move completely because of this, but it is what I need. And then in here right now is just like hair accessories, nothing back there. Here is makeup back there, skincare here, but not all of the skincare fits right there. And then this is what we have going on on the floor. Honestly, I'm gonna just work on trying to put things places and like see what works best. And then I will show you once I get things going a little bit better. Hi there. I don't even want to tell you how long it's been since I saw you last, a very long time. It is after midnight, let's see, it's 12.20. It is 12.20 on Sunday night, which means I do have work in the morning. But once I got started, I didn't wanna stop. I had so many other things planned for today and they didn't happen because this one just took a long time. But this is so important. I'm so, so, so satisfied with the results. So let me show you how everything looks. 
And with the caveat that I'm doing one other thing, so I will probably update this section, but let me just show you. So the first thing of note is I actually have a bathtub again. Look at that. Nothing on the sides. It's a miracle. And we have our sinks. And I will say I have to add our toothbrushes. So we both have an electric toothbrush that'll go probably like right here. But other than that, this little spinner, I wasn't anticipating putting this up here, but I figured I would put like my daily products. So this is like my daily makeup bag. Over here are my daily like eyeshadow palettes. This is like a highlighter palette, my setting spray. Then moving to this one is more like everyday skincare I use. This is a clean, my piercing. I got my cartilage pierced a couple months ago. Deodorant, contacts. This is more of the daily brush cleaner. I'm almost out of this one, so I'm just gonna finish it up. Uh, and the reason I said more of is because this is like the big full size one that's new. Lotion and toothpaste. And then in here, this is a little makeup bag that I said I'm like testing this stuff out. It's Merit. And this is my hair stuff. So my brush and my comb, little hair elastics. And then these, I need to update these lids. I have ones that are more seasonal, but these are flossers and Q-tips. And then my glasses case, my thing for my vitamins. And again, you saw my retainers. Okay, so that's the top. Now let's get to the stuff that we really want to see. I did get these new organizational containers in from Target. So that's why you see these clear little like strips on the outside. So when you open it up, ah, I have something back there, so it's out farther. I have my heatless curl thing here and I have my little mirror to like see the back of my hair on the side with a command strip. And then this is what I added. So this is what's new. It's these little baskets and there are separators you can put in, but I didn't put those in. So in here I have a strainer, my curling wand, my blow dryer, and then the attachments are down here. And then on the other side of the door, I have this like con air brush. It's just a lot bigger. These are the little things. You can have it into like three slots. So I will link everything in the comments below in case you want to purchase anything. But the transformation is quite impressive, I would say, from beginning to end. I've been using everything like this for about a week or a week and a half now, and I absolutely love it. It's so functional, so nice, and I'm going to definitely be doing this to more parts of my house. First, I hung up this little hand mirror with a command strip. So I like that that's like out of the way because I had it in between here, but then I was like, if I pull this out, I don't want it to fall. Back here, we kept body care. And then up here, we have pretty much the same thing, lotions and the soap. Now, this is a little bit of a new thing and I kept this here to show you, but I'm actually going to put this behind that because I will be using this a lot more. But this is just extra Q-tips for refills. And then these are like my old glasses and an old retainer. And then up here is mostly hair care. So again, like Olaplex dry shampoo, these are like weightless oils, more dry shampoo, um, thermal heat protection, mousse, you know, things like that. And then over here we have hairspray and then a couple like body sprays that I don't want to put with my actual nice perfumes in my closet. And then these, this container has like the spa headbands in it. And then behind it, there are a couple toners that were like tall that didn't fit in there very well. This is a face mask and then two toners. So then we're on to the stackable drawer. And then in the top one, look at this. I feel like this is so like that girl. I have my really large claw clips. And then in here, I have about a billion different kinds of like hair ties. I really like the gimme beauty ones. And then over here, I have different headbands. And back here is my makeup section. So I put all of my other brushes in here that I'm not using right now. And then all of my extra makeup stuff over here, setting spray, tinkle razors, and the makeup wedges for doing my makeup. So that's this first drawer. And then the bottom drawer is all skincare. So this is a little mini facial mister. We have my facial brush. This is like the cleanser, serum, moisturizer section. And then up here are all face masks because I like to do like a couple times a week. So I like that they're all right in this front section because I can literally just come in here and it's really easy access. Plus like my uh, rose quartz rollers in here. So I really love that. Like, oh, I'm so happy. Like I think Brandon's gonna be really happy. He's at work. So to come home and to see like 
everything all organized. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. Plus, everything's clean. Like, I cleaned in here today, cleaned the floors. Oh, there's just my water for right now, but I'm so happy. One thing I did want to show you is the trash can because you know how I was like, oh, I don't think I'll be throwing a whole lot away. Wait till you see this. This is my initial bag that I showed you. So like that really huge bag. And this is all garbage that I threw away from this. Like nothing else, like no food is in here. No like old garbage, like besides this big thing, that big thing, pink thing I told you about. Like it's all just like boxes and like labels and like it is full. So this is here. I'm gonna take it out to the garbage in the morning. But like, look at that. Isn't that crazy how much is in there? So I really did throw a lot away. I also felt like it was important to note that these stickers come off really easy. So I took them all off except for this one because I wanted to show you on camera. So it just peels right off and there's no sticky residue or anything. It's taking a little long because I'm doing it with one hand, but there's no sticky residue. There's no like difficulty getting it off. So. Look at that, nice and clean and good to go. So that's all for me, loves. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video and I really, really enjoyed having all of this done and keeping everything organized. I hope it stays super nice. And I'm really excited and enthusiastic about doing like the rest of my house. Like I really wanna do my pantry, my closet, a couple other closets in the house, things like that. But I'm gonna have to find a cheaper way because that was $250. I only have one container left that I didn't use and I'm gonna use that under our sink, but I'm obviously gonna need like a lot more than one container under our sink because of what you just saw. So I'm thinking about checking like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, things like that for cheaper ones. I know you can find like OXO sometimes there. So we'll see what we can do, but stay tuned for that. If you wanna see all of these things, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification if you want notifications every time I post a new video. I really appreciate you all being here. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. I will link everything that I bought in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out if you want to also tackle your bathroom cabinets. You can do it, girl. I believe in you. Bye. I love you. One of us got to say